Why was this fellow looking for him? Hanju had to use the derivation function to deduce. I want to know why Dijun is looking for me. Three billion years of lifespan will be deducted. Do you want to continue? So many? This exceeded the cost of asking the outcome of the calamity. Hanju gritted his teeth and silently chose to continue. Immediately after, his consciousness entered the scene. This was a dark space. Boundless chaotic chichern like clouds. A figure stood above the clouds. Beside him was a shadow that looked like a candle flame. Visit NOV Ubin, CM for the L-Test updates it was Dijuan. Dijuan looked different from what Hanju had imagined. His temperament was not oppressive, and he even looked gentle. He seemed to be thinking about something. He was silent and in a daze. The candlelight shadow suddenly spoke, the other sages have already made their move, why aren't you moving? Dijuan said calmly, why should I move? I'm immortal. Even if the Great Tao Calamity comes, I'm not afraid. But if all the living beings who believe in you are gone, your cultivation will also be affected. Will the other sages really not plot against you? The words of the candlelight made Dijuan frown. After a while, Dijuan said, Previously, I found the Heavenly Court's Divine General. Isn't that enough? Not enough, because he's from the Heavenly Court. The Heavenly Emperor himself is a pawn. Then, I have another candidate. Dijuan smiled and started to pinch his fingers with his right hand. He used a mystical power. Before long, his expression darkened. He continued to pinch his fingers. The scene shattered. Hanju's consciousness returned to reality. Dijuan wanted to use him as a pawn? Fortunately, he did not accept the dream. This fellow's hand actually still reached into the heavenly court. The heavenly emperor was truly troubled internally and externally. Hanju stopped thinking. It was fine as long as Dijuan did not affect him. At the moment, Hanju didn't have the right to offend a sage. If he could avoid provoking him, he would try his best not to provoke him. Even if he had to provoke him, he couldn't let the other party discover him. After understanding the reason, Hanju stopped thinking and focused on cultivating. Ever since the chaotic heavenly dog became stronger, the other hidden sect disciples have been stimulated. They cultivated diligently, including Chu Shuran. This was a good thing. Due to the protection of the Tao field, they would relax every once in a while. Seven years later, Liao came to visit Hanju. She rarely took the initiative to look for Hanju, which surprised him. After entering the cave abode, she knelt in front of Hanju and said seriously, Sect Master, I want to become stronger. I want to be as strong as you. Please teach me your Tao technique. I won't betray the hidden sect in the future. Her cultivation level had already reached the perfected Grand Unity Golden Immortal Realm, but she was still far from the Emperor Realm. In other words, her cultivation level had already reached the limit and could no longer increase. Hanju said, you want a cultivation technique? Liao nodded and looked at him uneasily. Hanju said, all right. Liao's favorability towards you has increased. Current favorability, two stars. Hanju was satisfied. It seemed that Liao was sincere in seeking Dao. Doesn't this favorability allow me to do whatever I want? Hanju said, in that case, I'll teach you our cultivation technique. This Dao is called the Primordial Chaos Reincarnation Great Dao. You can't reveal it to a third person, including the others from the hidden sect. Pleasantly surprised, Liao hurriedly promised. Anyone would be excited by such a different treatment. Hanju taught Liao the Emperor chapter of the Primordial Chaos Reincarnation Great Dao. It was enough for her to cultivate to the rank 9 Immortal Emperor Realm. If the hidden sect wanted to become stronger, they had to nurture their own disciples. Hanli couldn't always rely on recruiting experts to make himself famous. He couldn't completely trust the Black Hell Demon Lord, Diamond Rage, Duan Hongshan, and Jiang Yi. It was only because they had their own origins. But Liao was different. 
she had long severed her past and no longer had any karma. Liao began to comprehend the memories of the cultivation technique. Han Zhu didn't disturb her and continued cultivating. After five years, Liao finally woke up. She opened her eyes and saw Han Zhu's handsome and perfect face. Under the light of the supreme treasure, he was like a god that no one dared to profane. Liao was shocked. What a profound Tao technique! Compared to the primordial chaos reincarnation great Tao, her previous cultivation technique was the same as the martial arts manuals in the mortal world. It was worlds apart. She bit her lips and said, Thank you, Sept Master. I've already comprehended the Tao technique. What does Sept Master need me to do? Han Zhu didn't even open his eyes as he said, Go out and cultivate. Reach the Emperor Realm as soon as possible. Liao nodded and left. She felt a little awkward. She had thought that this time, she would lose. She also liked Han Zhu. Which woman didn't like a man like him? She seemed to be thinking too much. Han Zhu didn't have such thoughts. For a time, Han Zhu's image in Li Yao's heart became holy and mighty. Han Zhu understood her thoughts, but he didn't care. He wasn't a mortal. How could the joy of the body be compared to the transformation of his soul? Of course, if Li Yao was as proactive as Xing Hong Shen, Han Zhu wouldn't have rejected her. Lust was not something he would actively seek. Han Zhu had a lot of expectations for Li Yao. She was the first person to receive his true inheritance. The reason why he taught her was not only because of her talent but also because of her personality. Li Yao was too similar to him. After walking out of the cave abode, Li Yao was surrounded by everyone. Why did Master look for you? After staying for so long, you must have inherited something. When will it be my turn? Don't tell me you want to eat your master. That must be the case. I've seen other women do the same. Be quiet. Don't let Grandmaster hear you. You're joking. Perhaps the sect master can hear your inner thoughts. What's the use of keeping your voice down? Facing everyone's questions, Li Yao said calmly, I asked for guidance on the sword Dao. I'm about to become stronger. To the four immortal emperors here, good luck to you. The Black Hell Demon Lord, Jiang Yi, Diamond Rage, and Duan Hongchen were all shocked. This woman is about to reach the Emperor Realm? Even Jiang Yi felt the pressure. Li Yao's talent was indeed terrifying. Most importantly, she was willing to cultivate. Usually, she was the only one cultivating and could not be bothered to chat with others. Cultivate well. I will nurture you according to your performance. The hidden sect is only hidden, not lazy or complacent. Han Zhu's voice floated out and frightened everyone. At the same time, hope rose in their hearts. They also wanted to become stronger. In the blink of an eye. Another ten years passed. Han Zhu took out the Book of Misfortune and started cursing the enemies while checking his emails. Recently, the Heavenly Court had welcomed another war and was surrounded by many factions. Han Zhu couldn't help but worry for the Heavenly Emperor. Especially Long Hao, Han Zhu felt that it was difficult. He wanted to kill Hao Tian, but he was afraid of harming the Heavenly Emperor. I hope you won't act recklessly. Otherwise, for your father's sake, I'll have to kill you. Han Zhu sighed in his heart, and his eyes became firm. There was no perfect plan in the world. Han Zhu only needed to follow his heart. At this moment, Han Zhu suddenly felt that someone was using the invocation technique. He couldn't help but become nervous. Could it be Long Hao? Trick him over and mess with him? Han Zhu thought as a black vortex appeared behind him. After this ended, he had to upgrade the invocation technique so that he did not have to deduce it every time. 10,000 years of lifespan will be deducted. Do you want to continue? Continue! 10,000 years was simply looking down on him. A name appeared in front of Han Zhu. Xing Hong Xian. This woman. Han Zhu was speechless and heaved a sigh of relief. As long as it was not Long Hao. After hesitating for a moment, he still stepped into the black vortex. 
The next second, Hanju passed through the black vortex and came to a magnificent palace. All kinds of paintings and jade artifacts were arranged. A refreshing fragrance filled the hall. Hanju saw Xing Hongxian sitting in front of the table, which was covered in fine wine and food. Hanju couldn't help but remain silent. Xing Hongxian smiled and said, Husband, come and sit. Sit for what? I taught you the mystical power, and this is how you use it? Oh, come on. Xing Hongxian took the initiative to walk over and pulled him over. Hanju was helpless. This was a treacherous plot. After sitting down, the two of them exchanged drinks. The atmosphere gradually changed. In less than five minutes, Hanju's robe was removed. A month later, a male voice came from outside the palace, Saintus, an immortal emperor is preaching in the holy city today. I have an invitation. Do you want to go? Xing Hongxian sat on Hanju's lap and replied, No, I'm in seclusion recently. This immortal emperor is not simple. No means no. All right, continue cultivating. If you come out of seclusion, you can look for me anytime. Mm. After the man outside the hall left, Hanju asked, Who is he? This palace had a special restriction. The people outside couldn't sense anything inside. Xing Hongxian said disdainfully, In my husband's words, an ugly frog who wants to eat swan meat. Ignore him. Let's continue. Oh? You've not had enough? It's not enough, it's never enough. After returning to the Khanate cave abode, Hanju heaved a sigh of relief. If not for him reaching the deity realm and closing the invocation technique, he would have had to cross the heavens and fly back to the Nine Nether Purgatory. Now, he could directly open the way back. He had the six paths insignia in the Khanate cave abode and could find the spatial node. Hanju shook his head and laughed. This woman always treated him differently. After a few months, he could finally relax. Hanju began to study the invocation technique. Two years later, with his comprehension ability at the deity realm, Hanju raised the invocation techniques level. From now on, he could feel who was summoning him. He had already warned Xing Hongxian not to summon him whenever she was free. After her pestering, Hanju allowed her to summon him once every hundred years. After raising his cultivation level to the deity realm, Hanju felt that he could use the Dark Nightmare again. This time, he wanted to visit Xue Mingyi in his dreams. When Xue Mingyi left the Nine Nether Purgatory, it happened to be near Hidden Sept Island. Hanju copied his data and knew his face, which made it convenient for him to make the other party dream. After a while, he had succeeded. Hanju forcefully created a dream realm for Xue Mingyi and pulled him into it. This was a dark world filled with volcanoes. Hanju transformed into the dark forbidden lord, ghastly and terrifying. After Xue Mingyi opened his eyes, he was frightened when he saw Hanju. However, he immediately seemed to realize something and asked carefully, Are you the dark forbidden lord? Xue Mingyi could sense that he could directly jump out of the dream realm, but the other party could forcefully drag him inside, which meant that the other party was stronger than him. The strength of the dream realm could only mean that the other party was expressing goodwill. This image, the first name that appeared in Xue Mingyi's mind was Dark Forbidden Lord. Hanju asked calmly, do you feel comfortable using my name? When Xue Mingyi heard that, he felt as if he was struck by lightning. He knelt down in fear and cupped his fists. Senior, the darkness sect and I really respect you and are willing to serve you. Hanju asked, you have the Ajura race. Why do you want to serve me? Xue Mingyi said in shame, to be honest, the Ajura race is inherited from the Blood Sea Ajura of the ancient era. We're a race that the Heavenly Tao doesn't like. I've been looking for a chance to break through. I hope you can allow us to serve you. From now on, the Ajura race will be at your disposal. Our expectations are not high. We only hope that you can protect us. Hanju said, your Ajura race has survived until now. Don't you have a way to deal with the calamity? Xue Mingyi smiled bitterly. 
We have, but we're born with negative karma. The heavenly Tao is suppressing us more and more. You're secretly manipulating the calamity because you fear the heavenly Tao. We're on the same path. Hanju was silent and didn't reply. Xue Mingyi's heart skipped a beat. Had he said something wrong? Hanju stared at Xue Mingyi quietly. His strange purple eyes made the latter feel weak, and he hurriedly lowered his head. The world fell silent. After a long while, when Xue Mingyi was about to collapse, Hanju said faintly, I heard that you worked with the Heavenly Court. Actually, I'm not related to the Heavenly Court. The reason why I don't curse them is that they are an important pawn of mine. Xue Mingyi looked up at Hanju in surprise. To destroy an overlord, one must first make them arrogant. Xue Mingyi was enlightened. He asked carefully, is your final goal to destroy the heavenly court? Or to reshuffle the heavenly Tao forces? Hanju said, for myself. For himself. Xue Mingyi immediately let his imagination run wild. This answer was also the easiest to believe. If not for him, what benefits would there be in controlling the calamity? Does he want to become a sage? Xue Mingyi has a favorable impression of you. Current favorability, four stars. Hanju said, continue to help the heavenly court. Now that a sage has interfered in the calamity, the true colossus has yet to surface. You can attach yourself to the heavenly court and protect yourself first. Wait and see. A sage was interfering? Xue Mingyi's eyes widened as he broke out in cold sweat. He thought of those ancient legends. Any calamity that sages participated in would destroy the world. Even the immortal world would find it difficult to protect itself. Xue Mingyi's favorability towards you has increased. Current favorability, 4.5 Wu stars. Xue Mingyi said respectfully, this subordinate understands. His attitude changed quickly. Han Zhu waved his hand and the dream shattered. Xue Mingyi returned to reality and sighed as he recalled everything. Was this the Dark Forbidden Lord? It was indeed unfathomable. In the Kane Cave abode, Han Zhu wondered if there was anyone else he could use. Apart from Xue Mingyi, he didn't know who else worshipped the Dark Forbidden Lord. T his chapter is up at D by N O V E L by and co and forget it. That's all for now. Hanju perked up and continued cultivating. Recently, because of Xing Hongxian, he had lost a lot of cultivation time. He had to make up for it. Hanju's absorption speed of negative karma had been steadily increasing. He wasn't far from the four mystic divine origin now. At least, he could see signs of it. Time flew. Thirty years later, Liu Bei returned faster than Hanju had expected. Liu Bei smiled and said, Master, I've found the place you're looking for. It's even better than the Nine Nether Purgatory. It had only been a few decades. Hanju seriously doubted that Liu Bei was looking for a place in the Netherworld. Liu Bei replied, I discovered a mysterious barrier entrance in the Netherworld. Inside is an absolutely dark space. You can't see anything and can't use your divine sense to probe. After entering, all your senses will be useless. If we move Hidden Sect Island there, it will definitely be a good place. He was very excited. In any case, he felt that this place was very suitable. Absolute darkness. Could it be the Dark Forbidden Zone? Hanju frowned in thought. He had never been to the Dark Forbidden Zone, but he had seen it in the emails. If the Dark Forbidden Zone was paired with the Dark Forbidden Lord, wouldn't that be a perfect match? No! If even Hanju felt that it was a perfect match, the others would definitely think so too. That's all for now. I'll look for you when I need to change locations. Hanju nodded. Liu Bei nodded and bowed before leaving. After he left, Hanju sighed. It was indeed impossible to rely on this fellow to find a place to hide. Too cowardly. Hanju finally understood how others felt about him. It was maddening. Hanju was a little uneasy that he couldn't find something that satisfied him. He could only use the derivation function. 
He was afraid that the outcome would make him even more anxious. Try. I want to know where I will be after this calamity ends. Han Ju thought silently. The moment this question came out, he felt very smart. He couldn't find a place now, but he would definitely find it in the future. A billion years of lifespan will be deducted. Do you want to continue? A billion years? Why so much? Han Ju frowned and suddenly had a bad feeling. Continue. He gritted his teeth and made a decision. Then, he felt dizzy. When he opened his eyes again, he discovered that he had arrived under the Fusong tree. Everyone from the hidden sect was gathered around him. He glanced around. Everyone was here. Even Xing Hongxian and Su Qi had returned. However, their expressions were very grave. Han Ju saw himself floating above the cultivate diligently become a mortal mountain. He was standing on the 36th grade reincarnation world destruction Black Lotus. He turned and looked around. He discovered that there were terrifying giant shadows at the end of the island. They were densely packed and surrounded the entire island. What happened? Dark Forbidden Lord, let's see where you can hide. Even if we can't break through your formation, you can forget about leaving. A domineering roar followed by rampant laughter. It's indeed here. As expected of the Dark Forbidden Lord, he's hiding in the Nine Nether Purgatory. So the Dark Forbidden Lord isn't that strong. I guess this island is a supreme treasure, that's why we can't deduce the Dark Forbidden Lord. Who is he? Who cares? The Dark Forbidden Lord caused the deaths of so many living beings. He has to pay with blood. Hanju was shocked. After the calamity ended, he was still in the Nine Nether Purgatory and had his identity exposed. Hanju felt uneasy. He looked up. High in the sky, the future Hanju seemed to sense something and looked down at him. Their eyes met, and, with a boom, Hanju's consciousness suffered an inexplicable impact. His consciousness returned to reality. Warning, do not interact with your past or future selves. Otherwise, karma will be chaotic and the heavenly Tao will not tolerate it. A line of words appeared in front of Hanju. He frowned. The future Hanju could see him? Impossible. Even sages couldn't see him. How could the future him do it? Was it a coincidence? Hanju was confused. Most importantly, his identity had been exposed in the future. No. He had to find the reason. I want to know my identity will be exposed in the future. Two billion years of lifespan will be deducted. Do you want to continue? Continue. Hanju's eyes were firm. Next, he did not enter the illusion. Words appeared in front of him. Jade Emperor Zhou Yin, Cultivation Unknown. Chaotic Fiend Celestial, Immeasurable Emperor, the former Heavenly Emperor. After the failure of the Immeasurable Calamity, he hid in the River of Destiny and comprehended the Great Tao of Destiny. He saw through karma and fate. After learning of the existence of the Dark Forbidden Lord, he has been observing the heavens, wanting to find him. At the same time, the portrait was displayed. This person had an extremely dignified appearance and three eyes. His gaze was sharp. Jade Emperor Zhou Yan? Who was this fellow? Han Ju had never heard of him before. The words Chaotic Fiend Celestial were too eye-catching. Legend had it that in the Chaotic Era, there was no Heavenly Tao yet. In the Chaotic Era, there were 3,000 Chaotic Fiend Celestials. The giant god Pango who created the Heavenly Tao was one of the Chaotic Fiend Celestials. He killed other Chaotic Fiend Celestials and transformed into the Heavenly Tao. He was eternal and indestructible. After the Heavenly Tao appeared, the remaining Chaotic Fiend Celestials couldn't enter the Heavenly Tao. How did this guy get in? He was even the Heavenly Emperor. Being targeted by such an existence, Hanju couldn't help but feel a little weak. Most importantly, this person had always been comprehending karma and fate. Could he predict Hanju in the future? The more Hanju thought about it, the more uneasy he became. No, he had to think of a way to kill this fellow. 
Han Chu didn't want to be surrounded by countless experts. Wait, could this fellow be a sage? Han Chu frowned even harder. I want to know if there are any subordinates of Jade Emperor Zhou Yan among the people I know. Han Chu thought silently. A billion years of lifespan will be deducted. Do you want to continue? Continue. Immediately after, figures appeared in Han Chu's mind. So many? Han Chu almost went limp. There were too many forces involved. Heavenly Court, Divine Palace, and even the Underworld. Among them, he had the most number of friends in the Heavenly Court. Twelve of them were the subordinates of Jade Emperor Zhou Yan. Most importantly, Immortal Emperor Samsara, King of Hell, and the Master of the Divine Palace. Why were they together? The Master of the Divine Palace was a mighty figure who had been replaced by Zhu Tu. After Zhu Tu died, he never appeared again. However, Han Ju had a deep impression of him, and he had seen him before in the Great Ultimate Hall. Han Ju suddenly thought of the vengeful spirits in the netherworld that Zhu Tu released from the Nine Nether Purgatory. Could this be the reason? Han Ju had a headache. The Heavenly Dao was too dangerous. Before this, Han Ju didn't know about the existence of Jade Emperor Zhou Yan at all. He didn't expect such a huge net to envelop the entire world. This was a big shot. He was even more terrifying than the Heavenly Emperor, the Demon Emperor, the Heavenly Dao Buddha, and Zhu Tu. Zhu Tu had followed Nua. Perhaps even until his death, he did not know that the master of the Divine Palace he supported was actually a pawn of another mighty figure. Han Ju hesitated. What should he do when facing such a huge force? The best way was to stop cursing and avoid the calamity in peace. That way, it would not attract Jade Emperor Zhou Yan's attention. But if that was the case, what should the Heavenly Emperor do? Also, if Xing Hong Xian, Xian Qing Jun, Su Qi, Fang Yang, and the others encountered a conspiracy, would he be unable to help? There had to be a way. For example, upgrading the Book of Misfortune. As long as the Book of Misfortune continued to become stronger, reaching a level that even Jade Emperor Zhou Yan could not even predict, it should be fine. Unfortunately, Heavenly Dao Spirit Stones were not easily obtained. Han Ju touched his chin and tried to think of a way to deal with Jade Emperor Zhou Yan. He felt an unprecedented pressure, even greater than when facing a sage. Jade Emperor Zhou Yan was too mysterious and had such a huge network of connections. It was extremely terrifying. He couldn't offend such a person rashly. At the very least, he could not curse him. Jade Emperor Zhou Yan was definitely stronger than Zenith Heaven and might even be a sage. Such an existence could not be cursed to death. It would attract his attention in advance. I have to think of a way to let him be exposed. Such an existence will definitely cause panic among the people. I don't believe that all the forces in the immortal world are his henchmen. Han Ju thought like this. If it was true, he could only run. At most, he would run to the Dark Forbidden Zone. If I can't win, why can't I escape? The more Han Ju thought about it, the more relaxed he became. Nothing in the world was difficult as long as one was willing to give up. There were no powerful enemies in the world as long as one knew how to hide. Han Ju perked up and continued cultivating. He would be surrounded only after the Calamity ended. Currently, there was no sign of the Calamity ending. Year after year passed. The Nine Nether Purgatory regained its silence. The Vermilion Bird race in the Jia school seemed to have reached a peaceful agreement and no longer fought. What Han Ju was worried about didn't happen. No third force entered the Nine Nether Purgatory. In the blink of an eye, another 30 years passed. From the emails, there was another bloodbath in the immortal world. Han Ju's friends kept decreasing and had not increased for many years. The recent new friends were Xue Mingyi and Jing Tiangong. At this rate, Han Ju would be unable to spy on the situation in the immortal world sooner or later. However, there was no choice. It was not suitable to make friends during the calamity. Han Ju was getting closer and closer to the four mystic divine origin. 
he would probably break through in another 50 years. It was mainly because the negative karma in the Nine Nether Purgatory was too dense and endless. No matter how fast Han Zhu absorbed negative karma, he could absorb it as much as he wanted. Although the negative karma absorbed every day was extremely huge, Han Zhu felt that he didn't affect the Nine Nether Purgatory at all. On this day, Han Zhu was cultivating. With a terrifying boom, he opened his eyes in shock. He wasn't the only one. Everyone from the hidden sect was shocked and stood up. Above the Nine Nether Purgatory, a huge red hole appeared in the darkness. A terrifying figure slowly descended. It was a 30 kilometers tall figure with three heads and six arms. He wore savage bone armor and a huge pillar that held up the sky floated behind him. It was even larger than his body. He opened his eyes and smiled in horror towards a certain direction. Phi D D E W up T S on N O V E L N calm he raised his right hand, and the huge pillar behind him flew to his palm. Break! The 10,000 foot figure roared angrily. He waved his right hand and the towering pillar attacked, stirring up a dragon wave. A terrifying impact swept towards the surroundings, and boundless negative karma surged violently. The hidden sect island was also shaken by the impact. Fortunately, the spatial array formation in the Dao field was stable. They couldn't sense the islands trembling when inside. Hanju was surprised. Who was that? Because the distance was too far, he couldn't detect the other party's cultivation and identity. That direction seemed to be targeting the primordial Yuan Phoenix. Hanju didn't care too much. It was fine as long as it did not affect him. He sent a voice transmission to everyone from the hidden sect, telling them to calm down. Soon, the pressure of battle came. Hanju secretly controlled hidden sect island to leave the direction of the battle. The battle lasted for several days. After the battle ended, Hanju checked the emails. Your good friend Primordial Yuan Phoenix was attacked by a mysterious mighty figure and was severely injured. Gasp! To be able to injure an existence like the Primordial Yuan Phoenix, how strong was that fellow? Was this the hidden side of the world? There were countless people like Hanju hiding in the dark. <sighs> Spatial array formation? Which fellow Daoist is on the island? A surprised voice suddenly sounded and entered Hidden Sect Island. Hanju was shocked and hurriedly checked the surrounding enemies. Jiang Dugu, Cultivation Unknown. Immeasurable Emperor, Khanate Human Race, his cultivation level was unknown. He was at least Zenith Heaven. Hanju knew that he couldn't hide, so he said, I'm a nobody. I hope that you won't disturb me. With all the disciples watching, he couldn't lower his stance. Besides, the Dao Field's array formation was already at the Zenith Heaven Realm. Ordinary Zenith Heaven cultivators couldn't barge in. Even if they could, there was still Lu Bu, a peak Zenith Heaven. Jiang Dugu's voice sounded, I'm just curious. I naturally won't disturb your Dao Field. May I know your name? Han Zhu said, Xing Daorong. Xing Daorong? Where are you from? I'm Jiang Dugu of the human race. I'm currently in the human school, staying away from the calamity. I'm from the Great Way Divine Dynasty, a mortal world hidden in the dark. It's not worth mentioning. Are you avoiding the calamity? I've never heard of you, which means that you've never entered the calamity. Why don't you fight? I cultivate for myself. People fight for providence to defeat others, that is not my Tao. Ha ha ha, not bad. I won't disturb you anymore. Jiang Dugu has a favorable impression of you. Current favorability, Ye Dian Wu stars. Jiang Dugu's aura disappeared, and Han Zhu heaved a sigh of relief. He immediately checked the other party's information. Jiang Dugu, cultivation unknown. Immeasurable emperor, Khanate human race, the first batch of Khanate humans created by Sage Nuwa. He once obtained great providence in the immeasurable calamity. He is now one of the ancestors of the human race and is currently cultivating in the human school. Because of your rare cultivation attitude, he has a favorable impression of you. 
current favorability, 1.5 stars. Han Zhu showed a frown. Human school. It turned out that Li Daokong and Li Xianao were not the only ones in the human school. There were also Khanate humans hidden among them. The current humans were not considered Khanate humans. They were only considered postnatal humans. Khanate humans were the creation of sages and were extremely talented. The reason why the human race could prosper today was not only because of the favor of the sages, but also because of the relentless efforts of the Khanate human race. After the Battle of Blood and Tears, they had obtained the status of the protagonists of the Heavenly Tao. Because of this identity, they were under the Heavenly Tao's protection. Killing humans was considered a sin while saving humans was a form of kindness and merit. How many Khanate humans like Jiang Duga were there in the human race? Han Zhu hesitated. Everyone from the hidden sect was also communicating Jiang Duga is a pseudo-sage. His seniority is extremely high. Duan Hongshan sighed. Although he was only an immortal emperor, he had lived for a long time and knew countless names. Jiang Yi said angrily, what Xing Daorong? Back then, he even lied to me that his name was Sima Yi. I'm so angry. The black hell chicken asked curiously, your surnames are both Jiang. Is there a story? Jiang Yi nodded and said, my mother's ancestor was once saved by the human Jiang family and was raised. Therefore, she has the surname Jiang. Speaking of which, I'm also a descendant of Jiang Dugu, but our relationship is too far apart. He definitely won't acknowledge me, and I don't want to either. The Black Hell Demon Lord asked curiously, Is Jiang Dugu stronger than Zhu Tu? The system created Zhu Tu, who had not spoken, said, He is. No matter how strong Zhu Tu is, he's still tied down by the immeasurable calamity. Jiang Dugu has once won the providence of the calamity for the human race and has often heard the sage of the human school preach. Compared to that, Zhu Tu's status is too shallow. Everyone couldn't help but sigh. There were really many mighty figures hidden in the immortal world. This fellow was attacked by a mysterious mighty figure every year and would occasionally be cursed. However, he was fine and had been wandering around. He was so reckless but actually admired Han Zhu's philosophy. Han Zhu felt that it was ridiculous. After meeting Jiang Dugu, Han Zhu felt that the Nine Nether Purgatory was becoming less and less safe. However, this place was suitable for him to cultivate. He could still stay here. He would definitely escape when he reached the Sixth Mystic Divine Origin. Time passed. 27 years passed. On this day, Han Zhu was cultivating when he suddenly felt uneasy. He felt that something big was about to happen. He opened his eyes and thought to himself, why do I feel uneasy? A billion years of lifespan will be deducted. Do you want to continue? A billion years. Something was wrong. Han Zhu gritted his teeth and chose to continue. He entered the illusion. Numerous flaming figures were gathered in a hall that burned with flames, looking at a terrifying three-legged golden crow. Even if this three-legged golden crow was lying down, it was still tens of thousands of feet tall. There was a huge golden bell above its head. The three-legged golden crow muttered a mysterious incantation. The golden bell trembled slightly as strange words visible to the naked eye appeared and revolved around it. Ancestor, please send your divine power to my golden crow divine clan to suppress all living beings. The three-legged golden crow began to repeat these words. Its voice grew louder and louder, echoing in the hall. Hanju raised his eyebrows. What was this? The chaotic bell? In some novels, it was mentioned that the golden crow ancestor, Eastern Emperor Taiyi, wielded the chaotic bell which was also known as the Eastern Emperor Bell. However, in the legends, Eastern Emperor Taiyi had other identities of all kinds, the only thing that could be certain was that he was definitely an ancient deity. Heavy panting sounded from the golden bell. It was terrifying. The scene shattered. Han Zhu's consciousness returned to reality. He didn't expect that after the divine palace and the demon court collapsed, more factions would rise. As this calamity continued, why were there more and more people? 
Hanju was secretly glad that he didn't stay in the immortal world. It was really chaotic. At this moment, Hanju felt the Heavenly Emperor's divine sense coming from the Heavenly Dao token. The Heavenly Emperor asked him not to contact him. Why was he taking the initiative to contact him now? It seemed that the Heavenly Emperor also sensed that the Golden Crow Divine Clan was about to cause trouble. Hanju connected his divine sense and the Heavenly Emperor's voice sounded, You have to be careful of your Golden Crows. The La Tian of the Golden Crow Divine Clan is preparing to summon the Primordial Golden Crow. At that time, the bloodline power of the Golden Crows will resonate and go berserk. <sighs> There's such a method? Hanju said, Thank you for your reminder, your majesty. Will the Golden Crow Divine Clan target the Heavenly Court? The Heavenly Emperor's tone was a little solemn. Yes. After all, they established the demon race's Heavenly Court and have to eradicate us. There can only be one Heavenly Court in the world, but I'm not afraid. The Immortal Heavenly Court has existed for longer than the Demon Heavenly Court. What haven't we experienced? Hanju was relieved. Although the Heavenly Emperor was suspected to be bragging, it was fine as long as he didn't lose his confidence. Your Majesty, do you know about Jade Emperor Zhou Yan? Hanju pretended to ask casually. Yes, he's the third emperor of the Heavenly Court. Why are you asking about him? Nothing. I just heard D Tai Bai mention Jade Emperor Zhou Yan before. He's extremely respected. Now that Hao Tian has appeared, will Jade Emperor Zhou Yan make a comeback? Don't worry. Jade Emperor Zhou Yan has a good relationship with me. I was able to ascend because of his support. <gasps> An ally? Hanju was stunned. He originally thought that Jade Emperor Zhou Yan was a mysterious mastermind hiding in the dark. He didn't expect him to be the backing of the Heavenly Court. The Heavenly Emperor smiled. He's very powerful. It's precisely because he's here that the Heavenly Court can be eternal. I see. I'm relieved. Mm. After ending the conversation, Hanju frowned. Immortal Emperor Samsara and the Heavenly Emperor were both subordinates of Jade Emperor Zhou Yan, but Immortal Emperor Samsara and the Heavenly Emperor were plotting against each other? In fighting? Feeling that it was ridiculous, Hanju started to use the derivation function. Are Immortal Emperor Samsara and Jade Emperor Zhou Yan united? A billion years of lifespan will be deducted. Do you want to continue? Continue. Not for the time being. I see. Immortal Emperor Samsara was a traitor. Hanju continued to derive. Does Jade Emperor Zhou Yan have any intention of harming the Heavenly Emperor? Three billion years of lifespan will be deducted. Do you want to continue? Continue. Hanju's heart bled. Not for the time being. Hanju heaved a sigh of relief. Although Jade Emperor Zhou Yan would deduce his whereabouts in the future, it was fine as long as he could protect the Heavenly Emperor. This way, Hanju could enter seclusion without any worries. But something was wrong. In the previous derivations, the Heavenly Emperor had died a few times, which meant that Jade Emperor Zhou Yan had not helped. Or did Jade Emperor Zhou Yan also die? Since Hanju couldn't figure it out, he could only put this matter aside for the time being. Continue cultivating. I'll break through first. Hanju's eyes became firm. Fifteen years later, Hanju welcomed the opportunity to break through. He began to tackle the four mystic divine origin. For years later, he had successfully broken through. For mystic divine origin, Hanju's divine origin dermic powers began to increase as his essence transformed and became even stronger. As he consolidated his cultivation, he opened his attributes panel. Name, Hanju. Race, Primordial Fiend Celestial. Cultivation, for mystic divine origin. Technique, Primordial Chaos Reincarnation Great Dao, Heavenly Cycle Body Tempering. Great Dao, Great Dao of Life and Death, Great Dao of Karma. There was hope of reaching the Zenith Heaven Realm before 10,000 years. Hanju thought in satisfaction. Of course, this was only his wish. 
Perhaps the Zenith Heaven Realm required a long period of accumulation. Three years later, Hanju's cultivation had completely stabilized. He wanted to celebrate, but he suddenly discovered that no enemy was worth cursing. Li Xianao had been harassed by him, while Li Daokong was very passionate towards him. He was also embarrassed to harm Li Daokong. What if Li Xianao died and Li Daokong died too? How Tian could be cursed to death, but now that he was sharing his body with Long Hao, it was not good to curse. He had also found out that Tai Su Tian had no ill intentions towards him for the time being. Jade Emperor Zhou Yan was too strong. He couldn't alert him. Immortal Emperor Samsara still had a good impression of him. Han Ju was too embarrassed to kill him. The other enemies had low hatred points. They were at most unhappy or disgusted with him. Sai! Why do I suddenly feel a little empty? T his chapter is upped at D by N O V E L by and Ko M Hanju couldn't help but miss the Heavenly Dao Buddha, the Demon Emperor, and Zhu too. He might be a masochist. But this was good. Hanju shook his head and laughed. Forget it, I'll continue cultivating. Hanju checked the emails while cultivating. Your disciple Su Chi has become an immortal emperor of misfortune. He is invulnerable to all techniques and his body has transformed into karma. Your good friend Ji Xianshan has obtained the war god inheritance. He has stepped into the emperor realm and become an immortal emperor of supremacy. Your good friend Huang Zuantian was attacked by Jie school disciples, X-16. Your good friend Xue Mingdi was attacked by a human mighty figure and was severely injured. Your good friend Divine General was attacked by a deity realm demon, X8. Your good friend Li Daokong was attacked by your good friend Jiang Dugu. Your good friend Heavenly Emperor was cursed by a mysterious curse. Your grand disciple Fang Liang was cursed by a mysterious curse. Your good friend Zhou Fan was cursed by a mysterious curse.